Hello guys, Mike Martin here. So today I'm going to show you the easiest on-page SEO strategy you've ever seen, like ever. Super, super simple. We did a video the other day where we went through exactly how to pick a niche that's going to make you money, how to get the, the, the low hanging fruit. If you haven't yet seen that video after you've watched this one, just go to the bottom of this and watch the video and you'll understand the whole process. Okay. So Let's say you've, you've, you've gone and purchased the, the, the low hanging fruits, let's say under 500 keywords a month, and you're going to build an easy site the way we've shown how to do it the other day. Uh, you then want to start optimizing the page and you want to beat the competition. Okay. So for example, let's say we're doing, I've done fencing company London about a million times. So I'm going to say fencing company, Manchester. Okay. So let's say our keyword is fencing company, Manchester. Yeah. Not company net company, Manchester. So that's keyword we want to target, yeah? So we're going to go next. I'm going to jump over to page, page rewriter. Watch this. You're going to love this. Type in Manchester. Right, so let's pick uh, Manchester and let's click get content. So as you know, this goes off to the first page of Google, pulls back all of the content from the first page of Google. So we know we're using content that Google loves and breaks it all down into all the different SEO elements that's relevant for what you're doing. So before we ever pull any of the content or before we ever start working on the content, one of the things we need to know is who's our competition. So what you find down the bottom here on the right hand side is a domains report. So if you just quickly look here, so direct fencing Manchester, we'll keep them because they're like us, the best rated. We don't want that because that's, we know it's some sort of, um, what they call directory style site. That one's cockle Tom or something like that. I don't like the look of that one. Montan's fencing Manchester. I'll keep that. Stockport um, fencing, we'll keep that. Uh, Pendlebury fencing, we'll keep that. Courant fencing. It's a fencing site, so let's have it. Check a trade, they can go. And Bertrand, right, so what we've done is we've hidden those ones, right? So we've hidden those ones. So now what, what we've done is we've gone off to Google. We found an industry that we want to go after. We found it. We've gone and bought a domain, okay, using the tool we shared in the, in the video below. After you've purchased that domain, you want to start building your site. So that then what you want to do is go to here where it says SEO report. You want to paste in, paste in, sorry, Fencing Company Manchester. You then want to select Manchester again. And the reason we let you do this is so that you can... Um, use different keywords against the existing sites that's on there and then click generate report. So what this is going to do now, it's going to go off. As you can see, it says report done. We click view report. Okay. So SEO report for fencing company, Manchester. That's the name of the project inside of here. The report was generated on this date. Keyword fencing company, Manchester. Okay. Manchester, England was where we made the search from. Okay. Average keyword mentions zero. Okay, so if you're targeting fencing company Manchester, none of your competition has got the exact match keyword at all. Fencing company Manchester. Uh, keyword variations. Okay, I just quickly roll down to the bottom. So we've compared it against the sites that you've chosen here. Okay, this is not against all the sites that we pull on the first page. It's only the ones that's relevant to you. You don't want to be trying to compare yourself against Yale and companies like that because you're nothing like them. Fencing company Manchester. Okay, average keyword. Mentioned fencing was 30 times. Uh, sorry, fencing was mentioned 30. Company wasn't mentioned at all. And then we've got Manchester was mentioned nine times. Okay. Then we've got keywords in the meta title. Fencing company Manchester wasn't in the meta title once, not a single one. Okay. Meta description, they never mentioned it once. Okay. H tags, zero. H2s, zero. H3s, zero. In other words, if you want to rank for fencing company Manchester, it's easy. Okay. Average wor word count on the page. It's just their 126 words. <laughs> so this is a bloody easy industry to go after. And this is a big city. Okay. So as you can see, we've got some strong, uh, some stress emphasis, but there's not really any bold or italics. We can see which ones have been done. And then you've got your links here. So your average internal links is 121 links per page. Your average outbound links is four links. And we can see we broke these up. So these are your internal links. And then we scroll down here, your outbound links are here. So you can see where they're linking to. If it does something like this and you've got the URL, it means it's an image. Okay. And then number of images and number of images with alt tags in. So that's obviously fencing companies an easy industry to go after, right? So what I'm going to do now, just so you can see the difference. Okay. I'm going to just type in locksmith Manchester. So this gives you an idea straight away of how difficult. So we've got locksmith Manchester, Manchester, England get content. Let's replace all the other content because we just want to work on this keyword in this location. 
So as again, as it did before, now it's just typed in Locksmith Manchester. It's going to the first page of Google and it's going to pull back all of the content and put it into all the different SEO factors that we need. Um, just a second. It can't be that much longer. Manchester, England. Okay, so as, as before, all the meta titles, meta descriptions, H1s and all that have been broken down for us. Okay, now I want to go back to domain names. Okay, the best rate has already been hidden because I hidden it before. Uh, Manchester Locksmith will, will use Lock Forces National, so we not use that. Lock Right is National, so we want Manchester Locksmith will have Lock Fits National, so we'll ignore it. Ax, a Manchester company I know. Locksmiths is the Master Locksmith Association, we'll ignore that. Keys for Use National, so we'll ignore that. So we've got these three websites on the first page of Google that are similar to ourselves, okay? The similar type of site. It's a local um, locksmith site that's ranking on the first page of Google, okay? They're the people we want to compete against. So we open this. I change Fencing Company. So lots me Manchester. I'll reselect this location just to make sure. And then I will generate the report. So that's going to go off again and make us a report. When that pops up, it says it's done. Click on view report. Okay, so okay, the the SRO report is for Fencing Company Manchester. Just let me show you why. It's Fencing Company Manchester because of this up here. Okay, so you see where it says Fencing Company Manchester. That's the name of the actual project. So if you report, right, so Locks, Locksmith Manchester is the keyword. Uh, it was where the search was made in um, Manchester, New Hampshire, United States. I actually did the wrong one. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, uh, my average keyword mentions 61 times on the first page. That means Locksmith Manchester, exactly like that, has been mentioned 61 times. Keyword variations, Locksmith 134 on average, Manchester 101 on average, meta title, 67% of the people that we, we compared against. Now, we compared against these three companies, so that would tell me that two of them have Locksmith Manchester as it is. And the average meta description length is 202 characters, and the average meta title length is for 58. So you can see we've got one with Locksmith Manchester in the description, one with Locksmith Manchester in the meta titles. Um, mentions in the H tags. Uh, so, so on average, they've got one H tag. Okay, on the page, uh, average keyword mentions zero. Average, they've got 19 H2s. Average keyword mentions is 13. So what this is doing for you, this is giving you a framework. Average word count is 4,677 words. So as you can see, locksmiths is a very, very difficult industry to go after. But fencing companies is a piece of piss. Okay, you've got all the links and you've got all the images and it gives you everything you need to know for you to build a framework that's going to be there or thereabouts as good as what's already on the first page. You can then over optimize a little bit to, 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 to start pumping yours up uh, further. You just optimize better than they are. And then once you finish doing that, you then obviously just chuck a few links at it or single niche PBN links and you're good. So if you don't know how to pick an easy niche and you don't know how to find an industry that's at really easy pickings that you can win almost every single time, go to the video that's directly under the under this video now in the chat. Watch that. Then when you rewatch this, it'll all make complete sense. Hope you loved it. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.